Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the War Train here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get the Super Mario Brothers uh, collectible pin set. Now, there's going to be multiple pin sets, but the first one is basically, you know, up right now where you can start doing missions to be able to get it. Uh, because it's not something that you can buy. This is a limited pin set and you actually have to do a bunch of missions off of the My Nintendo uh, website to be able to get this. And it does look really, really cool. I have it up on screen here so you can see what you do get. Um, you get a pin from Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, 3, um, Super Mario World and Super Mario 64. And, you know, the other pins are going to be for later games, but these are the first five games, and these pins look absolutely awesome. And um, the things that Nintendo basically um, is going to be releasing is going to be a reseller's wet dream. Um, a, a lot of this stuff is going to be limited, just like the pin set. And if you haven't seen the uh, Super Mario 35th Anniversary Nintendo Direct, um, you know, I'll, I'll briefly go over it and just kind of show you guys um, what is some of the stuff that they're going to be releasing. Now, um, the first thing is the uh, Game of Watch. It's going to be a colored LCD screen, uh, Super Mario Brothers Game of Watch. It's going to have Super Mario Brothers 1 on it, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, or 2 if you're in Japan. Um, it's also going to have the Game & Watch game called Balls, and um, the, the, the character that you're going to use is going to have the face of Mario. And that thing is going to retail for $50. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I am hoping I can get my hands on one of them. Um, it's not something that, you know, you're really going to play on because, um, <laughs> let's face it, in the, the video they show, there's a bunch of screen tearing on it. So hopefully Nintendo gets that fixed. Um, but regardless, it's not like you're going to be gaming those games really on there. You might check it out a little bit. But that's a real collector's piece It's or a novelty. Um, I plan on just displaying that thing and having it in my collection. It looks awesome, though. Um, but hopefully I'm able to get one, you know. <laughs> so when Nintendo says something's limited, I'm sure it's going to be limited. And uh, resellers are going to go absolutely just crazy on snagging all this stuff and marking the price up just crazy like double triple quadruple and it's already starting to happen with pre-orders of stuff so um the other stuff you know that they had in the direct uh was as far as super mario brothers all-stars for the super nintendo has already now came to the nintendo switch um, Super Nintendo Online app. So if you haven't already downloaded loaded that or whatever, um, if you have the Switch Online app, I, I suggest you open it up to get that game on there and check it out because it, it's you know it's a fun game. It looks great on the Switch, um, but let's face it, it, is a game that's been around. Most of you have probably already played it, but regardless, still really fun and especially cool to have on your Switch. Um, so. They also also announced the um, Super Mario 30 Brothers 35, which is a battle royale like Tetris 99. It's um, 34 players versus you um, online, and it's uh, going to be only on the Switch Online uh, app or whatever. And it's it's going to be a limited thing as well. It's only going to run on on Switch Online until next spring. So. You know, I recommend when it comes out, I believe in November, or I could be wrong, but I think it comes out in November, um, you might want to jump on it and try it out, you know, before it's too late, because it's going to be a limited thing. It's kind of weird, though, because somebody already did have something like that on PC, and Nintendo did shut them down. That was a while back, but um, it was a similar kind of, pre uh, you know, uh, similar kind of thing to this but definitely not nearly as polished. I mean, let's face it, this is Nintendo actually putting it out. So it, it's going to be uh, really, really cool, I think. Um, I'm definitely going to be checking it out. And they announced this Mario uh, Home Circuit uh, Mario Kart thing um, where you buy like a kit with RC cars, basically. They're remote control 
uh, Mario uh, Kart Racer and uh, uh, Luigi one, and it it's it's controlled by your Switch, but it's basically augmented reality. Um, you can do in your house or probably set out, you know, set up in a parking lot or something. Uh, but it it looks like you make your own track with uh, like track markers that you set up and you drive Mario and Luigi through them and basically race. Um, the thing looks absolutely awesome. If I was a kid, I'd be going crazy. I'm still excited as an adult. I know my son, you know, cannot wait to get this and check it out. Um, and I'll definitely be getting this um, <laughs> as long as I'm able to get it. I don't know how hard this will be able to, or how, how hard it's going to be to get. It'll probably sell out like immediately, just like the uh, NES Lego set sold out immediately and was also pretty hard to get the Mario Lego starter kit that actually has Mario in it, um, which I did finally was able to get some uh, one of those for my son uh, recently. I showed that, but uh, that's that's all part of this as well uh, but you know that's Nintendo being Nintendo coming out with stuff you can never even imagine like this uh, Mario Kart home thing it, it looks awesome so definitely looking forward to that and they also announced um, uh, Mario uh, Super Mario 3D World Deluxe plus Bowser's Fury um, if you haven't played that it was a 3D kind of Mario game um, on the Wii U is a really, really awesome Mario game, in my opinion, one of the best that they've made. Um, the level design is just excellent. The game looks gorgeous, and it kind of blends 3D Mario and like a traditional 2D Mario together. Um, I, it's sort of two and a half D Mario, but it is more 3D. But um, it's just a, a really awesome blend of both styles. Um, I think it's an absolutely great game, awesome for couch co-op, but in this one they're going to be adding online multiplayer, so that's actually going to be a new feature for that game, so um, definitely looking forward to that, and the thing with that too, it runs way better, you can see just by the trailer, um, it runs at like 20 or 30% faster than you know the one on the Wii U, and you're getting the um, Bowser's Fury, which as far as right now, Nintendo didn't really show much in the trailer for it, so not really sure exactly what that is, but it definitely is looks cool. Whatever it is, it's definitely going to be exciting to check that game out again on the Nintendo Switch. So, um, yeah, definitely looking forward to that, especially to have it in handheld. That is going to be awesome. Um, so, besides all that stuff, they did announce the uh, <laughs> much rumored and leaked 3D All Stars. Now, the 3D All Stars looks awesome. That was the big reveal, and it was a really bad kept secret. It's been leaked, you know, and rumored for a long time now. Honestly, when I first heard about it, I was a bit skeptical. Um, I really wanted it to come out, but, I, you know, this is Nintendo. I kind of had a hard time uh, believing that they were going to put all these games on one compilation. Um, you know, if it was 2D games, I'd believe it, but 3, 3D, it was like a little far-fetched. But, you know, the more leaks and rumors and stuff, it, it started to sound like this was going to be happening. And, you know... As far as recently, it was just a matter of time. Um, pretty much everybody knew it was coming out. And they finally announced it. And announced it with it coming out within two weeks. Which was crazy. So it comes out, I believe, September 18th. I already have it pre-ordered. I pre-ordered two copies of it. One to keep sealed and one to open and play. Um, this game is going to be limited. They said that themselves. It's only going to be available for six months which is insane um so the availability runs out at the same time just like um the mario 35 and probably the game and watch as well so um these are all limited products so you might want to jump on pre-orders or getting all this stuff if you want it um as fast as you can um but 
I am really looking forward to this. This is not a remake, but a remaster. Um, you know, these are all going to be in HD. Super Mario 64 is going to be in 720. Um, it's still going to be at the same, you know, aspect ratio as the original one. But the other two, Sunshine and Galaxy, are going to be in 16 by 9 widescreen. So that's going to be cool. And those are both going to be at um, 1080p in docked and 720 in handheld. And Super Mario 64 is going to be at 720p docked and handheld. So um, that one, it kind of makes sense. Um, you know, that was like a you know real low resolution even at 720 it's going to look awesome um it looks great they didn't remake it but they did remaster a bunch of stuff there's a lot of updated textures um you know like the uh, user interface is all updated to uh hd textures and stuff um even parts of mario his eyes actually are nice and crisp so that looks really good um really looking forward to that finally we'll be able to want to play through uh, these games all the way through um, be just because it's so convenient on modern hardware and the, the quality of life features and they let's face it they look good um, especially sunshine um, it, this definitely makes sunshine look awesome and same with galaxy i mean that was already a more modern game but it makes it look almost like a brand new game um, or a game that could come out in this time period anyway uh, but really exciting but Aside from all that stuff, the limited edition pin set for this 35 uh, 35th anniversary, um, the way to get it. So let's get into that. So right here you can see what is included in this pin set. And you got Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, 3, Super Mario World, and Super Mario 64 pins. And let's see. So... First off, if you go to this site, um, the um, Nintendo.com or Nintendo My Rewards or whatever, it's all like the same stuff. Um, you can, you might as well enter into this My, uh, My Nintendo Super Mario sweepstakes. So the prize details are right here. You could see the pictures. There's going to be five winners for for this stuff, and they're giving away some cool stuff. So you might as well enter. You just got to pretty much click on it, and you're entered right away into that sweepstakes. And then as far as the collectible pin set, um, you basically, my Nintendo members who complete the pur uh, purchase of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, so you have to buy the game. 3D All-Stars mission and four collectible additional eligible Mario themed missions before they expire will be eligible to receive a limited edition set of commemorative Super Mario Brothers pins while supplies last. So these are limited and it's while supplies last. That's why I say you might want to jump on this like as soon as possible. Um, so you have to buy the game. That's you know one of the mission things that you have to do and then i'm going to show you exactly what else you need to do so right here they give you a checklist of all the things and as you can see i only have four out of six or 67 percent finished because you're not able to complete it yet and you'll see why so first off you have to visit the official super mario website so complete the mission by visiting supermario35.com and signing in to your Nintendo account. Now make sure you're using the account that is linked with your Nintendo Switch like online and all that stuff. You want to have all the, you know, make sure you're using that same account for all of this because somebody like myself, I have multiple Switches and multiple accounts. So it could be real easy for me to, you know, do one of these steps on a different account and I'd screw up the whole thing. So just you know something to think about if you do have multiple accounts all right so as long as you um you know log on to that and sign in it's completed so that'll check the first box off so the second one to take the super mario brothers quiz at super mario uh, 35.com now there's two different quizzes you get to choose there's easy or hard they're both easy, um, and even if you don't get them right, they'll let you keep taking the quiz until you get 
the five questions right. There's five questions. You need all five right, whatever quiz you take. I did them both just to see what all the questions were. Um, and the hardest kind of question you're going to get is, what game did Mario first fall asleep in? Like as far as a sleeping animation. You know, um, that's probably about as hard as the questions are going to get. And I, I, I believe that one is Super Mario 64. Um, so, you know, and the, like the easy questions, um, like on the easy quiz, one of the questions is, Luigi, uh, what relationship is he to Mario? It'll be A, B, C, and D, um, brother, sister, uncle, cousin, or dad, or whatever. And it's brother, obviously. Um, so... The, the, those are the type of questions that you could look forward to. So as long as you complete one of the quizzes, you will get the second one checked off. So the next one is download your, this is my Mario image. So visit the Super Mario 35 site and download your favorite Mario from the timeline to share with your friends. So you're basically just downloading a picture. You're picking what is your favorite Mario. You download a picture, done. Um, it's that easy. You're just downloading a picture. So once you download that picture, the, the third box is completed. And then the next one is try the Super Mario uh, music player. So um, visit Super Mario 3D All-Stars website and use the Super Mario music player to listen to clips of the iconic music featured in Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. So they basically have the music player um, like a preview of it of what you're going to get in the game because the this game is going to have a music player built into it and it's going to have basically a digital CD of each one of these games. So the music player that they're talking about, it, it's a demo of it. It gives you two songs per each game so you can just try it out. All you got to do is click on one of the songs and just let it play even probably for a second and as long as you do that this box will be this check mark box will be completed. Now personally I actually checked out all the songs at least you know a couple seconds of each. Some I listened to all the way. I just wanted to check out the differences in music between all the games and uh, you know it's really cool that they're even putting that on this uh, compilation so do that one and that will check the next box so now you're gonna see why I only have the four out of six and 67 percent now today is the 7th of September and this doesn't start till tomorrow the 8th you need to race in the Super Mario Kart Tour event so participate in the Super Mario Kart Tour event in the Mario Kart Tour mobile game on your smartphone or tablet. The event runs between 9-8 and 9-22 with special appearances by Mario, Donkey Kong Jr. from the Super Nintendo original Super Mario Kart game. So check the game for more details. So when you go to that game on your you know, tablet or phone, uh, make sure, again, that you're logging in with the correct account. Um, that's going to be real important here. And you basically got to, you know, go to the game, play whatever uh, Mario Kart Tour event they want you to do, and it's going to check this um, next box. So once you've done all that, you've done everything you can do until the game launches. So the next one is purchase the Super Mario 3D All-Stars game. Now, complete this mission by purchasing the digital um, version of the game or purchasing the physical version. So you can get either version and you, um, by doing that, claiming your My Nintendo Gold Points on your Nintendo Switch system. So if you buy this digitally off the uh, Nintendo Switch eShop with this account, It'll automatically do this. It automatically um, redeems your your um, Nintendo Gold points. Um, if you buy it physically, like I'm gonna do, you gotta manually um, go into this and redeem them. Which, if you you haven't done that yet, um, and you should be doing it, because it basically um, you can it gives you free money on the eShop essentially. 
Um, I've bought so many games that I've actually was able to buy games with these points before. So if you're not familiar with it, you put the cartridge in and when you're logged in with your normal account, um, you hit the plus sign when you're over top of the the game you know the 3d all-stars game and it's going to bring you to a screen you're going to um, basically go to redeem uh, my points and you know it's that easy so once you redeem it on this um, profile it'll automatically be linked so it'll automatically check that last box and then you will have completed 100% of everything and all the missions that you need to be able to get your Super Mario Brothers collectible pin set. So I hope this video either reminded um, you know those of you that maybe uh, wanted to do this and forgot all about it. Because let's face it, it's easy to forget. I actually forgot about it for a little bit, and um, you know or. I hope it helps you on either knowing what you have to do or how to do it. Um, you know, so um, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out this video. If you guys enjoyed it and it helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, guys. I'd really appreciate it if you're not subscribed. Uh, but that's it, guys. That's the video. I'm the Word Train, and I'm out. Have a good one.